I got my little gadget on. So, yep, I have to wear this the whole bloody night. Good morning guys! Well, half past two, we woke up half an hour ago. But my mask overnight, I was obviously pulling at it. I remember at one point Soph was just like, all the tape's coming off and she helped me get the rest off. But look how sore my face is today. And that's just one day, like one night with it not being on there. It's quite terrific. But what I'm showing you is, Soph and I are sharing breakfast this morning. When I went shopping to Tesco's yesterday, there was these packets of what, babe? Bellinis. Bellinis. Um, and they were reduced. So, we're going to try these. And because there's so many, we're going to share. Yum. So it's okay. about five to five and I just went for a wee and when I came back, Charlie was happily napping on the sofa, <laughs> when I came back her legs were on the sofa and her upper body was on the floor. She'd tried to turn in her sleep and just like fallen off, she didn't make any noise or anything, I didn't hear anything in the bathroom which is just the other side of that wall and she's like right there in front of me so I didn't hear anything it was silent um, she's okay she's kind of hurt her shoulder a little bit because she sort of landed on it and sort of wedged it up against the puff um, I'm not ready but she's okay out. just I'm throwing that one out there Alba's sort of as you can see I'm trying okay. to trying to make sure she's all right scared for her, isn't she? Okay. But yeah, she's just completely upside down. I'd shut the door, so when I opened the door, I was greeted by that. Lit oh my god, it was terrifying. I, I actually squealed because I it was just not expected. Okay. Um, but yeah, so she's okay. Just sort of sore shoulder, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we thought we'd share that with you because this is the kind of thing that can happen all the time that people don't think about. Yeah. Um, this is why it doesn't, like, people always say to us, why doesn't Soph go to work and I have carers come in at certain times of the day, but this it's times like this. <laughs> Technically, I could have had a carer come round at four and I wouldn't see them until like five or six the next day. So I would have been on the floor. Like that. Upside for, down. Like 12 hours. Without meds, without nebs, without, like, any 
assistant, so yeah. it just would have been horrible. I mean, it was horrible as it was, but obviously she's left on her own for like however long. But yeah. yeah. There's that shoulder in it. Yeah. Hmm. It was good though. Yeah. I'm awake now. Yeah, a little bit of a shock. I only went to sleep like two hours ago, but I'm awake now. <laughs> Yeah, shock like that will probably wake you up for yeah. quite a while, but yes, so we'll speak to you shortly. Hi guys, I'm the right way up now. <laughs> we just took the girls out, um, just so it was a little bit light and then we can still see them all well. What's the matter, princess? Has mummy shut the door? Do you still want the door open? I don't know where my grabber is. Two seconds, people. Dixie obviously wasn't ready for the door to be shut, so she was whining, as you could hear. But when we were out there, Alba was playing with the ball again, and... On one of the occasions, the ball bounced off the floor and she jumped off the floor, literally like a foot off the floor. Abba's never done that. She's just jumped up at the back gate, which we've shown you guys, but she never used to play with toys out there. And now she's, for the last few days, she's been playing with the ball and she just jumped up like hugely. And then she just did little jumps and... Oh, it was just amazing to see. And the other thing is, when we're in the house, if Alba's not doing something we've asked, Dixie will come along and we'll tell her off. Or if we're telling Alba to get off of something and she doesn't, Dixie comes over and pulls at her leg to come down. It is adorable. But today, once we're outside, if, Alba, uh, if Dixie wouldn't give us the ball or would throw it, like stupidly at us so it went everywhere and then she would like if Dixie went to go get the ball back again Alba would barge her out the way so that we could get the ball <laughs> she did it so many times it was hilarious and then obviously when um she gives us like Dixie gives us the ball like she's meant to Alba just stands there and just like lets us get on with it it is just perfect the way they tell each other off is just fantastic um and then when I was out there, I remembered yesterday when I went shopping, I was in the middle of the store and this little, um, like old like grandfather came up and well went past me and he was like laughing, looking at me. I clicked in my head, it's going to be the duck, my duck that's on my steering column. And then we both carried on our separate ways. Then a few seconds later, he comes back and he's just like, I'm so sorry, that made it look like I was laughing at you, but it's not. It was, I thought your duck was really funny. I was like, it's okay, I guessed it, that was what you were laughing at, and I'm more than happy of you laughing at my duck. Because it is funny. Most, most people have like the normal black knob on the steering column. But for me, I have a duck, and it's perfect. And I got given this duck from a really special friend, um... She's been so kind to us and helps us out trillions. Um, and yet we've never met. And it's just like some of the best people that I know, I have never met. I've, I've pen palled with them, met them online, like groups, and just been chatting for years since. Um, so thumbs up, Louisa, for the duck. Um, but yeah, that's a little catch up for now. And... Oh, and the other thing was, when I fell, so when I was talking about it afterwards, and I was trying to figure out at what, what, part, what part I knew I was on the floor, and I cannot remember being on the sofa and trying to turn around. The last thing I remember is going to sleep at like 30, and then waking up on the floor upside down. So we think I might have banged my head as I hit the floor. Um, as well as my shoulder. I think that my shoulder took the brunt from the, the puff that was there um, because it pushed out the way and then my head hit the floor. I'm, I'm okay, um, but yeah, I just, I can't remember events leading up to that. Um, it's just one of those things, it's a, I fall regularly and that just adds another one to the tick list. 
Um, but also, look at our ooh, ooh, our lanterns. Yesterday in Tesco's, I bought Soph this um, red one there, and then today we both lit them up. I'll get another picture the other way. So I'll be back in a second. Here they are, guys, in all their glory. How gorgeous do they look? I am literally in love with them. So, so precious. And now Soph's granddad is going to be lighting up our house every day. I, I always felt bad packing away Soph's lantern that she got for in her granddad's memory because it's obviously linked with her mum. The one she her mum's got is for her granddad as well. So now, now that the Christmas one's gone, she's got this one to sit by her and light up her life and light up her path. But I really like him. It's the exact same time of night as we always do. And Soph's just turned off Sims. I've just put down my pen pal and stuff. And it's the time of night that we get the boys in to snuggle. And Albert just sensed that I just put the pen pal and stuff away and Soph turned off Sims. They were both snuggling like down by the window where their bed is and they both just came run more Alba, but she came bombing out because she knew the boys were about to be brought in. I did also touch the door key so it could have also been. She started running before then. Okay, sorry. How cute is that? Let's see how much of an asshole she is tonight, shall we though? Mm -hmm. She just loves them so much that she just gets so she to boisterous. Play, but her tail, yeah, her tail is like a whip, and it really bloody hurts. And she's just so heavy. She goes, like, really, really rigidly strong. But, um, hopefully she'll get there. Like, the, the type of breed that she is is supposed to be a hunting dog. So we're lucky that we can get the boys out at all. But... Isn't she cute? Fuss me, Mum. But yes, we're going to get the boys out now. Yes, we are. And then we're going to snuggle them for the hour like we normally do. And then it'll be time to go to bed. Yay! Say hello. Hello. Give the people a, give the people a kiss. Give the people a kiss. Elba. Give, sit, sit. Give the people a kiss. Give, give him a kiss. Yay! Here I go, Abba. Abba. Abba, look. That rhythmic noise is Albert again. Ouch. That one wasn't, that was the ball. Can you give me a kiss? Strawberry. Do you like strawberries? Albert, leave him alone. And she sat in the zoo. Yeah, I thought that might have been the case. 
What? He wouldn't, he, he did a Dixie, he wouldn't start eating it he, until I put Bobby. like the juice on his lips and he was like, oh, that's what What's that this? is. What, do you want this one? That's what I had to do yesterday, I had to keep biting a bit off and show him the juice. What, for love, for me, yeah. Dixie's just throwing us the bloody ball. You don't want any more? Or do you want more? Albert. It's a year's old. Albert. See, he's, it's not like he doesn't want food, people. Like, you take it away and he just... He comes for it. See? And he, this is what he was doing with the syringe last night. He's, he's wanting food, but... I don't know. We've just seen again before he eats like tonight whether he has got a lump and it does feel very lumpish again it does and it is like a ball lump yeah it doesn't feel like food and then it doesn't move it's solid and yeah it's looking more likely to be that um the vets is on thursday we were wrong it's before it was tuesday but it's not i believe it's the 17th um so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see and hope that they can suggest something and help him out. But we, we won't go ahead with surgery. There's there's no point. Nobby, there's more here. And this is a new candle that we put in today. And look how it's gone. 
Obviously, it's some kind of red coating over, like, a white or clear candle. I think it's a white candle. Like that one. But... I just think that's so cool. It looks kind of looks like an iris. I mean, that's pretty awesome, isn't it, guys? Should we open the door to see if you can... Yeah, look at that. That's so beautiful. Still looks pretty cool. I'll take. I was gonna take it out, but obviously it's gonna be pretty hot, so I don't think I will. But um, We are um, in bed. Do, 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 do. I just had a thought. Does anybody know of the best way to try and keep tens machines pads stuck to your skin? They, they, I've always had difficulties. They always come off. You put tape on them, and it still doesn't stay. So if anyone has any great suggestions, I really would appreciate us you letting me know. Indeed. Let us know in the comments. Specifically, sort of like back, lower back area. Yeah. Because obviously we know that different parts of the skin are different, aren't And bearing in mind, I'm sat down all the time because I can't walk. Mm. So it would need to be like transferred, safe, and whatever else. Yeah. Because the TENS machine is pretty darn good. It does help. It prevents me needing morphine. But the patches just don't stay on long enough. It's quite frustrating. But yeah. Other than that, Nobby peed on me. He was on his back. We were feeding him, and it just went. Geez. It was. It was like a little fountain. By the time Safe had realised, well, I just wasn't expecting it. Quite I had already honestly. like covered him up and stopped it from like going everywhere. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Bless him. But, I have to say, it's about time that she got peed on. Safe so the one that always gets peed on by humans and dogs. Yeah. Not adult humans. No. Baby yet, humans. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, literally, I keep getting peed on. Like, if I had, like, Dixie peed on me in the car once when she was little. Uh, I think Alba peed on me. Um, one of our friend's little boys peed yeah, on you. Yeah. Zach peed and pooed on you. Yes, that is true. Mind you, though, the dog the other day did pee on your chair, so that's kind of like peeing on you. Maybe yeah. it's just like the tables have turned. Maybe. My nose looks giant. She's got a big spot on it. I have. You can see it glistening away. And it hurts. My whole face feels like it's going to explode. <laughs> Just done my third patch change. Whoop whoop. Did you tell the people why you can't touch it? I don't think so. But if I touch it with my fingers, the silver part, or if I sit there rubbing it lots, or if like now there's like the old patch was there and I rub my hands over it, and then I, you know, itchy eyes, it blows your pupil. They come back to normal, but it's not the point. It
comes back but it takes the length of time that the patch takes to run out so 72 hours it takes that long to bring back my eye if I was to do it not knowingly no. I could put, like self-consciously do it but like at that time yeah but I've refaced my face I have to pull it off tonight I was really tugging at my um, CPAP last to be night. fair, I don't think you slept very well at all. No. I'm not sure if it's because you had more morphine. That, it doesn't normally do that to me. No, but you haven't had that much morphine in a while. Yeah. I don't know. No. Just one of them things. Mm. Tomorrow's got a bit of an agenda going on. Agenda? An agenda. That's the right word, isn't it? We've got things to do tomorrow. This doesn't sound right, does it? No. It sounds like you're going to murder someone. Yeah. Something. We're not going to. Not intentionally, anyway. No. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word to put it as. Errands. That will do. Yeah. So we have to go to town, pay money in the bank to pay off a bill, which will be gone! Forever! Yay! Only four, five, four, five. Five years? Five years later. Which we shouldn't have to pay, but they're making us pay, or if we don't know, to send in the bailiffs then. Yeah. So, we've tried and we've fought and we've argued with them saying it's not our responsibility to pay for it, but tough, do do. So, the people in the lower position, so we lose. Yay! So, we, we've managed to put it off not paying so far, but we just. We can't be dealing with anyone, so we're just going to pay it and yeah, give in to them. we've got that money specifically for that. We've saved up for Yeah, it. we saved it on the 1P2P challenge. So we're just going to use that on that. Indeed. Then we've got to pick up, pick up my pharmacy. No, pick up my drugs. From the, pharm from the pharmacy. Just to clarify. Then we've got to go to the hospital in the city to drop off the sleep study. And that's pretty much, we might be dropping off some baby clothes, but we're not sure yet. So it just depends on whether they respond in time. And I'm that good. Busy day. Huh? Busy day. Yeah, so we're going to get some good night's sleep tonight. Not. Probably the same amount of sleep we always get. And, um. Uh, last night, because that was bizarre. That was. I think we were both whacked out. Yeah. We slept for over 12 hours. <laughs> to be fair, I kept getting woken up overnight by saying some pony. Well, she might have been waking you up because I was in distress. Maybe. She never told me you were in distress. She just, I, like, went to sit up and then she'd run to go downstairs, so... Damn, girls. <laughs> she thought I'd just naturally know. Yeah, possibly. So, so yeah, that's kind of our day today. We decided we're going to do the merch box opening on Tuesday. So when you're seeing this, it'll be the day after that we will be opening. So then you'll see that on Wednesday. Is that right? I think so, but I'm not going to definitely say it. Justifications to do it, but even when it's